it is not worth to go to somebody who is uneducated himself and he is promising you to provide you all those education that you are you are dreaming of they are very good with their words wo jo zuban hoti hai na wo unki itni achhi hoti hai ki wo bahut acche se apna mind they have helped me a lot and i have not even paid them any don't fall for all these traps they are going to make a lot of false promises in the beginning they will tell you हाँ जी इसका करा ही देंगे आयल्स कोई नहीं हम करा देंगे हम तो आपको ट्यूशन प्रोवाइड करा देंगे क्लासेस लगवा दो बच्ची के सात हज़ार और भर दो क्लासेस लगवा दो हम क्लासेस लगवा के उसको साथ बैंक दिला देंगे एंड वैन यू पे दैम बाई दी अनफॉर्चुनेटली इफ यू डोंट स्कोर दैट वेल दे विल डेल की फिर से कराते हैं तैयारी जी वापस आप इतने पैसे भर दो हम तो इसको एकदम इस बार आठ के आठ बैंड ला देंगे <laughs> ऐसे बात करते हैं सो so, वो जो बड़ी बड़ी प्रोमिस करके पेरेंट्स को लू बनाया जाता है ना दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वो अपने पेरेंट्स के पैसे बचाने हैं और खुद के बचाने हैं दैट इज योर पेरेंट्स हार्ड अर्न मनी तो वाई टू वेस्ट ओवर ऑल दोज फूल्स राइट नहीं करना चाहिए यार बहुत हेट मिलने वाले मुझे लगता है Hello everyone, myself Sneha. I am back with another video. Uh, so today's video may help a lot of people out there in India, and I am hundred percent sure that from this video you are going to learn something by the end, and maybe it it can save your money. So uh, today I will be talking about the consultancies that are available in India to provide the foreign education services, and they promise you to like uh, give you hundred uh, percent admit from your desired universities. So uh, m- maybe my opinions will contradict. So I was working. Uh, back in india and it was very hard for me to take my dreams and my work together so i would uh, i would visit to a lot of uh, consultancies because i wanted somebody who can like help me out with all this process because it was very new to me nothing was there in my family to guide me and i was all alone basically so i wanted to know about the steps and to be very honest steps you will get it on online as well like on the platform of youtube or or on any other site you can get all those steps however those are some of the like uh, incomplete information that you get sometimes people will be there to answer you but sometimes you will not like they don't guarantee 200% give you the best guidance so um, of course having someone who can help you out in your like process and who can answer you any time as per your requirement like as per your need uh, that will helps you a lot for your process but uh, i don't want anybody to end up um, at the consultancy because consultancies are there only to make their business to be honest and uh, those consultancies who are in india those are not that much familiar which are like in your neighborhood or in your surrounding they are definitely just to fool you out so um if you want to go to the consultancies if you want to take somebody's help i am going to give you um a name where you can visit and where you can like take the help it is all de- uh, it is all on the basis of my personal opinion and they have helped me a lot so uh, uh and i have not even paid them anything but it is is not that they have done it for me it was of course they have also their business right they have their business so they have been getting uh, paid from the universities that they are bringing the students to so it is like how they run their uh, company but uh, they don't charge anything from the students so that's one of the best thing that you can get because in india if you go to small places or in the small consultancy they are definitely going to charge you as well as they are going to earn from the university also it is only a uh, one side that the consultancy i'm talking about will take their profit from all right so um, as we all know that how the indian parents are we as an indian we have a very supportive nature towards our um, our relation or towards the people we love being an indian parents they support their kids to any extent and uh, they just blindly go for anything that that will help their kids to grow so um, i know that to just make your parents understand about the process it is very difficult and 
and um, you you guys as as the kids you need to understand that you are there you are educated you are well known so you have to provide them the knowledge that it is not all the time that they have to run to the consultancy sometimes you can do all your own but uh, yeah we hesitate to some extent that are we going to do it by our own self so i was also the same because i was not having i was confident enough on myself but i was not like i knew that somewhere at some place i may get stuck so i really need somebody to help me out so i got to know from my colleagues i got to know about idp and uh, this is not a paid video or anything because i don't have a big community here i don't get anything like that so um, just it's my personal opinion idp um my friend has referred me to idp and he told me that if you go there they are not going to charge you a single penny and they did not actually so first i went there to ask them about canada and all canada and all so they have consulted uh, really well and they told me a lot about that and uh, to be very honest i got a lot of knowledge from there so it does help you and uh, they will be there to guide you but uh, just one like uh, i think uh, for us they charge a bit so to me they charged 6000 they told me to they, that they will be charging me 6000 but they have not asked me the for the money so i didn't pay them that's weird thing but they have not taken the follow ups and they have not like maybe i don't know what happened but uh, not only to me there were few girls also who all right so the consultancy i'm talking about is idp and there are a lot of consultancies in the market that are available to help you leap scholar study abroad or any, any other but uh, i am not familiar with any of these i am only familiar with the idp service and uh, to be honest uh, i have got a very nice guidance from there they were there to help me with the mocks with everything like from the beginning to end and process it's just that you have to prepare your sop on your own you have to prepare your resume they can check it they will check uh, that uh, your documents for you but they are not going to write it for you so you have to make sure that you oh, on your own so uh, it's not like they will be spoon feeding you so you have to put initiative but uh, yeah the most of the guidance you can get from them and uh, if your manager will be nice they will alert you they will update you on every steps and they will tell like what all feedbacks they are getting from the university i i have experience of andheri branch if you are from mumbai you must know andheri so i went there in andheri to their office and they were there to help me out and but they in andheri office they charge you a bit so to me in the beginning they told that they will be charging me 6000 or something for us it's only for us and it's free for every country like for for any country but they will charge you only for us but uh, i will also tell you how i got it for free so uh, i started like on this note that i will be paying them 6000 at the end and uh, i told them that first i need all my process to be done and then i will be paying you if i get it like if i get the admit ad- admits and all so like that we started the process and they helped me with every step like every step they they were there to guide there was a manager she was there she was allocated to me and uh, uh, she was there to take follow ups she was there to like ask me if i am up to the mark or if i am running with the right time or not so um, they will in, in fact help you to take mocks visa mocks and everything so they are very nice they are not there just to uh, take money from you so uh, anyways uh, so we started with the note that i'll be paying them but by the end none of them taken the follow ups from me and they have like literally they i i told my i mean i didn't uh, ask anyone that i have to pay or not but none of them respond me they just ask me that they provide or provide your visa documents and that's how they close my file so uh, i think of, obviously they they don't do this for free but uh, they definitely get their commission from the university but uh, it's a good thing that they don't charge from both of the sides and this helps the students as well and if you want you can visit that branch or i will suggest you you better visit the thane branch because i heard that that is more 
better than this one andheri one thane branch is very nice and uh, the managers there are very cooperative so my friends who came this fall with me they uh, had experience with them so as per their feedback i can suggest you to visit their uh, uh, thane branch it is very nice and uh, apart from mumbai i know idp has branches in other cities also like i am familiar with the delhi one i know there will be people uh, in delhi and there are branches in delhi as well so you can visit there if you are from delhi you can visit like you, you just need to inquire anywhere there you are or i started my search from a call so i searched it online and then i called somebody and then they they, they told me to visit the branch i visited the branch and then i uh, got in contact with the manager and ever since then they started all those process and they have like they every time they used to update me and alert me like what all steps i need to take and how i have to be prepared so it's a good thing uh, having somebody uh, who can tell you every time because in the beginning you don't have contacts right you are the only one that you know who is planning to go abroad you don't have any friends if you don't have any friends or anyone you don't know actually so uh, it is very nice to be under the guidance but make sure you don't pay for such guidance because the uh, commission part is already being paid by university not everybody from india comes to usa because usa is also getting profit from indians we are paying them a lot of fee that they don't charge from the native ones so obviously it is business for them so they have their uh, channel partners in india and they uh, the channel partners like idp they provide the students the qualified students of course so uh, and also you can like uh, you can ask them if you don't want to go with the, their suggestible university you can ask them as per your like list you can tell them i want i am very clear about all these university i am going to apply for all these and they are going to do the process for those in university so it is nice they will make you fill the form they are not going to fill the form on, on your behalf but they will sit with you so they are going to check what how you did and what all details have you filled they will be helping you but it's again i'm saying it's not spoon feeding so don't expect that in fact they can shortlist courses for you based on your profile they will give you the list of the courses as per your budget and uh, as per your requirement basically if you are if you are unaware where to start what all university you need to choose if you have not finalized any university you can ask them they will be there to help you out with that university and everything so uh, like idp is the best consultancy that provides help and uh, they don't charge you that's the best thing so i i like uh, there were students um during my visa interview she contacted me through facebook and then she was literally crying because the consultancy person has charged her 25000 just to file her uh, visa uh, slot and uh, visa application and uh, she got rejected because she, she she was not informed about the process and she was definitely lag behind the practice i think la uh, and the um, i think the mocks the mock interviews are really important so if consultancies are charging you for that you deserve to have a mock interview from them and you deserve to be prepared from them so why to pay them just to file the application of course the idp will also help you to fill out your ds160 form to i forgot to mention that um if you file your application through idp you will not be charged for the application fee so there will be application fee waiver uh, they have their code type code and they use that and that's how they fill your application for free so that is also one of the profit that you can get the everything every application to the students and uh, i have like i know there are people from really bad background who, who are not like with a very bad profile they have got admits through idp so it's a very nice organization so because they they just um, they polish your profile and they help you how to like uh, showcase your uh, possibilities how to showcase your abilities your qualities and your like personality in a better way so that's really nice that you will get such services from such organization right and uh, i heard that like, i see a lot of people they spend money like water on study abroad journey so it's not worth it right at the end you have your hard and money 
you are just paying it on somebody who is not helping you who are just there to like fill the several forms as they do it is their business so it they don't they don't give the outcome the outcome depends on your profile so why to give that person money to just help them to grow their business obviously not right so uh, today's motive was just to aware everyone what's the part of consultancy and even if they want to go to some consultancy idp is the best consultancy they can go to and uh, other than that i think leaf scholar study abroad these are also the helpful consultancy one more thing i have tried to make a video uh, there are smart students who do their process on their own and who don't require any consultancy or guidance um, i have made an in depth video on the entire process on the entire admission journey so you can refer that video will also help you and that will also clear a lot of your doubts so you can uh, like have the ability to do it on your own don't worry don't go to the consultancy it will be really nice if you do it all your own. you can get all those knowledges from your youtube or from other sources in fact youtube also like i would i will suggest you not to rely 100% on youtube but yeah if you if you can like if you have time you can get your 90% of the solutions from youtube other than that i think uh, if you really want to be under guided so uh, you can opt for other services right you can opt for other organization which are well known organization and which are really there to help you they do earn their profit but it is not from the students they earn from universities in order to provide them the students just that nothing else consultancies don't do anything in your favor they will make you pay for ielts they will make you pay for the ds160 to pay for any other expenses that will be coming in the journey so what is the use of the consultancy do you know is, is there any use of the consultancies all those knowledges that they have even some consultancies are there who don't even have knowledge like what is going on in the market right now they are sitting there in their offices and they are they're just guiding you with the same uh, their knowledge of 2012 how the process used to go back then and uh, they will be telling you to do the same thing for it's a it's an experience right you get the experience so don't get rely on anyone that was it so this is all about my today's video i hope this will help some parents or some students out there and um, if you have doubts regarding your admission and all so you can comment down i will try to answer or you can reach me out on linkedin bye 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 if you like this video you can give it the thumbs up you can subscribe you can share with your fellow mates till then bye bye take care